Good morning, everyone. It is a hot, humid day here in East Tennessee, and today is July 2nd, so that means it is officially timber rattlesnake season. Um, this is the time of year when timbers typically start moving towards their gestation sites, and the areas that they will remain in through late summer and early fall. So today's weather is perfect. It is going to heat up really quickly, but we still have some good cloud cover this morning. So it's looking really good to see a lot of snakes, but yeah, I'm going to climb this mountain and I'll see you guys shortly. First snake of the day is this large Eastern Copperhead here. I believe this may be one of the same individuals that I filmed here in this crevice in a previous video. I'm not for certain. They hang out here in these crevices and as the sun comes in and out or as it gets too hot, they will come out to bask and then go back in. As you can see, they have this little rock ledge here. So they will actually go in and out. Now if you notice the sky, it's still really foggy. There's a lot of clouds that's starting to go away, but that's what you want to see snakes sitting out basking. So hopefully we will see some stuff outside of crevices. But yeah, a really healthy, attractive copperhead. Just hanging out here. This is a really common way to find these in the mountains. Again, these snakes are not aggressive. You have to really be harassing them to even provoke them to strike. I'm sitting right here just inches away from this individual. He does not mind me at all. He's just hanging out here in the shade. gorgeous copperhead. I'm going to leave this guy to what he is doing here and hopefully we will see some timber rattlesnakes this morning. Next snake of the day is this attractive little really weird colored eastern garter snake here. I am standing at just under 5,000 feet in elevation here. I didn't have much luck on the last mountain where I was trying for timber rattlesnakes so I came up here to the higher elevations to have a longer window of opportunity to look for them because it is much cooler here. Now at these elevations, really, this is about the only other snake you're going to see other than timber rattlesnakes once you get up here much over 4,000 feet. This is a much cooler climate. As you can see, there are some spruce fir trees mixed in here. Lots of really strange talus fields that these appear to be using, but yeah, uh, Really brown, unique looking eastern garter snake. I'm just going to let this little guy go on his way here and we'll see what else we can find. So it is now the next morning and I just made it here to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park with my good buddy Jason. And this is what I was hoping to see yesterday. We just hiked up on this absolutely beautiful pile of timber rattlesnakes here. Right here we have the head of a gorgeous black face timber. So we have been sitting here watching this pile of timbers for a few minutes now and as we were watching them a beautiful yellow phase individual just came out of the vegetation here and coiled up right below the pile of the timbers that we have been watching. This one is the lightest one of all of the individuals that are hanging out in the pond. As you can see, we're not harassing these snakes here. We're just sitting on this rock watching them. Right here is a good shot of three faces that you can see actually in the video clip. Again, we have seven here in this pile for now. There doesn't appear to be any others just yet, but, but that doesn't mean they aren't around. Right here you can see this rugged habitat that we're in right now, standing here on this cliff edge. And right up here are the timber rattlesnakes. This is a different angle, but this is the same pile of snakes here. You can see the yellow face, she is still off to herself there. And the main pile is just still 
moving around and getting comfortable as the day progresses. Yeah, this just puts it into perspective, a nice open rock bluff here. This is prime basking habitat for the timber rattlesnake. The sun just now really came out as I started recording. All of these guys are now positioned perfectly here facing us. And as you can see, as the sun just came out, they are starting to react to that and move around. When you have cloud cover and the sun is moving in and out like it is right now, this will be an all day thing when you are watching timbers like this. Maybe a bit too much for the guy on top. He's thinking about moving down lower where the yellow phase individual is. They've been sitting here still for the past 15 or 20 minutes, and then just this little bit of sunlight has got them all on the move. As you can see, it's hard to tell. I know it just looks like a big pile of snakes, but the yellow girl in the back is starting to readjust as well. You see one of the black timbers back there moving. They appear to be moving to the base of this log here to hang out and settle in with the yellow timber. As you can see, the pile is a bit split up now. Just watching behavior like this for hours, um, you do learn a lot, you get to see a lot. Absolutely gorgeous snakes. As you can see, they mean us no harm as long as we just sit still here. They don't even mind us being here watching them. They just go on about what they would normally be doing all day. Timber rattlesnakes often get a bad reputation and you know their Latin name is Horridus, you know, the horrible rattlesnake, but they are really no such thing. They are shy, secretive, docile animals that you would really have to be going out of your way to provoke to even get a strike out of them. So definitely misunderstood and they do not deserve the bad reputation they have. These guys are more laid back than the majority of non-venomous snakes that you will see in East Tennessee. But yeah, we're just going to let them keep doing what they're doing here. Right here, as you can see at this black phase individual, he is poking his head out, just coming up here close to where we are standing. He doesn't mind us as long as we don't do any sudden movements or do anything stupid. But as you can see on his back, the circles here and his pattern are actually connected. That's a small um, pattern aberration. Right down here we just noticed another yellow phase individual coming up. So this makes number eight here. This sunlight has, um, I guess, encouraged her to come out from under the rock that all of these were sitting on and join the pile. This is absolutely amazing to watch. You see right here, this yellow phase individual is still getting fixed while the brown one moves into the vegetation here to catch some shade. We still have this one girl down here. She has stayed pretty um, static, hasn't moved much since we've been here. We have this one right here just slowly climbing up to get into the mix. This rock is heating up nicely right now, so this is prime time. Once the sun comes out, if you wait too late, you will actually see these either start to go back into crevices or seek shade in the vegetation once they get warm enough. 
incredible behavior to witness. You see this girl right here is just climbing on this stick. Um, appears to be moving towards a log here. She may not be going up to the main pole after all. We're just going to watch her and see what she does. Most of these guys are moving in right now. The exception of this one yellow individual. If you look right here in the vegetation, I know it's hard to see with the shadow. It may not focus with the lighting, but there it goes. You see one of the darker ones is just sitting there. And we have the yellow phase joining now. There's a shot of that beautiful pattern with the sunlight hitting it. There are not many places where you can sit this close to a pile this large and get this kind of footage, at least here in East Tennessee. What we have is pretty limited. You see this almost aberrant timber, not fully aberrant, but has moved out from under the log here and cooled up. That really puts that beautiful, unique pattern into perspective. Gorgeous snakes. And we still have the yellow phase girl down there just moving under the log. But I'm going to quit running my mouth here for now and just sit back and watch the show. And if they stare around much more, I will be filming it. And right here in this bush, just hanging out, we have an eastern copperhead here. There's actually two, but this is the only one I can get a clear shot of where the camera will focus. Um, but yeah, they are apparently here too. They never came out to bask this morning, but yeah, they are here with the timber rattlesnakes. They are underneath this log here, as you can see. But yeah, good sized, gorgeous copperhead. I'm just going to leave it here in the shade and we will see what else we can find. As you can see here, the timber rattlesnakes have moved into the shade probably for the rest of the day now. You can see them. They're all just moving around under this bush here. They got this nice little log here that overhangs over this rock. But the sun is blazing right now and they would be cooking right now if they were still sitting up on that rock. So that just goes to show how much of a difference time of day can make. You typically want to get out early in the mornings unless you have a completely overcast day to see these guys out and about like how we filmed them earlier. But yeah, they are probably just going to hang out in the shade here the rest of the day. So we should be calling it a day here at least for this spot. What is up guys? I just made it home from the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and what an amazing day it was. An absolutely insane day of snake watching. It's always an incredible experience when you get to watch animals in their natural habitat just doing what they would normally be doing without anybody around and even though we were there we were a good distance away from those timbers and I zoomed in really far so they were doing what they normally do every day and that was awesome to sit there and watch for a couple of hours. Um, we got to film and observe some really interesting behavior so you really can't get any better than that and just an all around amazing day. If you liked the video hit that like button and drop a comment let me know what you thought about it and let me know what you'd like to see more of and last but not least subscribe it helps me tremendously but yeah guys until next time. I will see you in the next video.